Hi guys, thank you for joining me. Oops, sorry, sorry. So, uh, testing a new microphone. How's it? How's it sound? I think it sounds okay. I tried it in a thing. So, so let me move those. Today we're doing one collection, three styles, twenty-three, and this is an open collab. Mandalay Cards and More Dahlia came up with the idea and entered invited my twin sister Melinda Davis and myself today we it's we are doing part six just a bit more extras okay and um we are uh today uh I'm going to do a writing board okay also this collection is using Christie's printables and it's the shabby chic background collection and it is over 50 pages of gorgeous pinkness overload it is gorgeous okay and this was you you have to join her facebook group of course all of this will be linked below you have to join her facebook group but it's free and um it was this shabby chic background collection was posted on july 18th but it's shab it, if you just search the group for shabby chic c-h-i-q-u-e background okay and that is the collection we're using and we're just seeing how the three of us interpret it okay so i thought i would show you how to make a writing board i already made a writing board you say well we'll get to that <laughs> it was a situation so i started this is okay my writing board is going to be five and a quarter wide i got that backwards it doesn't matter five and a quarter wide by five and a half high i no reason i just needed to make it bigger okay then i'm going to start with a, a one score line over here and my page is just bigger it just needs to be more more than twice as big okay i made it seven high versus uh it's five and a half high by five and a quarter wide and i needed to make it not as wide because the page is only 11 high so at first i had it five and a half by five and a half but the page is not big enough for all that so i i just cut a little bit off it's okay you just need to make it bigger and then double it plus some okay to give you some to wrap around and then i started with the score line over here a quarter inch should be a little snug and a half inch i i just it's kind of in between okay so we are going to go ahead and fold that okay just to give us a starting point and I did use tape on this I did it at first and used glue and it uh it wrinkled a little bit you know cardboard's thirsty so it wrinkled and I didn't like it so I am going to use tape and I'm going to go through the whole thing um just to show you because I make a lot of writing boards and this one this one uh I've made a couple and it turned out really neat so I wanted to show you uh, the first one. I didn't put this tape through the middle and uh, it needed it. Then also we're going to put one along here. Ish. Okay. And then let's see. That'll be, that's not quite long enough down here. Okay. Now, first, I always wear my... Does anybody else wear their tape on their wrist? I do when I'm using it. Okay, we're going to burnish that down. And we're going to... Of course, that's not working easily. I just use these Dollar Tree Pokey Tools to get this tape up. And that didn't burnish it good enough. Okay. 
and I think you'll agree this turns out pretty neat and this is just a good base for this is a good way to do a cover a writing board you know to just to wrap and I'll show I'll show you I think it turns out pretty neat and no measuring there you go Marty no measuring so we're just going to bump this up against this edge and we're going to leave ourselves room at the top and bottom okay we're going to lay it down and we're going to burnish it and there is now you have to measure this just you have to measure your writing board and then just give yourself an inch or so more than a half inch to wrap around except over here I didn't you could have done a half inch but I was working within the limits of my paper width okay there okay and that'll be fine we'll get to it I can I can use a drop of glue under there if I have to but My needle came off of my new bottles, and it's fine because the needle was getting clogged up. So just the point on it, I'll show you. I'll show that some other time. But I don't want to. I don't want to take too long here. Okay. Okay. But uh, I what I started out saying was the uh, cardboard was thirsty, you know, and it it did wrinkle. I mean, it did s swell up and look lumpy a little bit and I wanted the writing board to be nice and smooth sorry so I decided to use tape and I'm putting it along here and here because when you fold it this will get that part okay so I'm putting it on the inside and outside and my tape goes there okay okay now we're gonna start scoring it and I'm gonna show you why you don't need to measure okay you're gonna like this so I use this one just because it's got a nice big edge so I'm gonna start my score there okay and we're gonna score here and we're gonna score here okay and then I like to come up along the edge to to give that a nice flatness you'll there is a difference I like doing that okay so then we're going to roll it over okay and then we're going to come up here and we're going to score and we're going to come up here and we're going to score and we're going to come over here because I made that a little long. It will need trimmed and it's okay. And we're going to score. And we're going to do that on both sides. And I think you'll like how neat this turns out. Yeah. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is on here, these flaps will fold over right and then this flap will fold over and seal it all in so we're going to trim off these excess and we're just going to barely trim inside the lines and I and I'm going to go ahead and do it with a pencil and show you I did find it was easier at first I thought uh, the last one I made I thought I would do it just to show you better and then I liked it now you uh I love these pins. They're triangle shaped. They don't roll. And um, I, first I used a thin, a tiny pencil. And just use a dull pencil or a wide lead. This is 1.3 lead. And then um, because this, oh, well, that one did it too. But that's okay. We can, I thought it would, I thought it jumped over because it uh, was a thin lead. But I guess it's just because it's not a very thick jump and uh, not a very thick board but we can clean that up I had to erase another one and it it erased fine now we can decorate this however we want I'm not going to decorate it I'm just showing you how to make it okay so now we're going to use a ruler 
and we're we're just gonna barely come inside that pencil line okay and we're we're gonna come all the way up to the line okay and we're just gonna whoops follow the ruler duh okay and then here we're going to do the same and then this will make sure that it covers and just just inside so it won't hang over but it'll be the full width you'll see and then be careful don't come up too far okay if if you don't want to cut that all the way just save a bit for your scissors and you can trim that last millimeter with your scissors this is the same way i do like envelopes you start cut okay like if i were to cut here i would just end up in that area okay but if you if you start at the fold you're going to be you're going to be perfectly where you need it where you need it to be okay and then you can then you can neaten it up if you have to but fold wherever you need to be fold the fold toward you and your scissor will stop okay and then if we still have an, a little bit left we can just clean it up and I can show you how to clean that up when we're done okay and here we're going to do the same on this on this folded edge we're going to cut start at our corner and then you know your corner is going to be neat okay and you don't need to score it much you need to score it enough I mean angle it enough that when you come in this is going to cover it okay you don't need to 45 it or you might cut it short but you just need to these inside corner inside angles to be covered up by this see it's covered up okay and uh you you want to clear this this angle right in here so that it doesn't bulk up and bunch up when you fold it you want it to fold flat and see we've got that little tail there all you've got to do is barely nip it off and then it'll be fine okay so I think this turned out really neat and we've got to put this down first before we fold the sides in and we're going to come up because that one is going to crab that one and then we're going to come in to leave room for our outside edge And I did three through the middle. And you want to come pretty close to the outside edge. But since we're using our folds and our score tool as our line, then we don't need to measure. How about that? And then we know it'll be nice and neat because we're going by the actual paper. You know, there's no measuring. You're, 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 it's, you're making it work custom just right you know because you know even though I, I made four of these okay and I could measure but it might not line up perfectly neatly based on lots of things you know nothing's perfect so this makes it pretty close to perfect okay so we got to fold our in our sides in first And we have to go ahead and clear this one because um, it's going to, and that, I don't like that lump of glue. I don't like that lump of tape. We're going to take that off. And we'll just add another one. Because the tape kind of rolled up on there. And you don't want lumps and bumps underneath all this. You know, there's a, another over of tape okay and uh, we have to clear this one because this is going to come down past that okay oh shoot 
I forgot to trim that. Well, okay, we gotta trim that corner first. And we trimmed this corner, but we have to trim this, this flap that folded over this flap. And we're just gonna do it right along Right, right along there. Okay. And this one too. We're going to trim that just right along. And I glued it. Oh well, it'll be fine. Because I glued it so it won't bulk up. And that looks like it needs a drop of glue. course this I made three just perfect and now I'm on camera and it's not perfect so we're gonna we're gonna burnish that down really well okay okay now we're going to did I burnish all of this it looks like I did okay now we're going to take all of this off And this is how you do covers and everything, right? And there is that a little glue chunk that keeps wanting to find its way back. And that is okay. So then you just, we've already got this scored and we already worked along that edge, remember? So then you just fold it over, okay? Now look. Now look how neatly those edges are. And see it comes just up to the edge. Okay? And it's perfectly neat and finished. And I, this is the first one I made. And see I didn't put uh, tape on the, the middle. So it's a little bul bulgy. But you can see these edges are nice and neat. Okay? And we've got four of them. Why? Well, let me show you something. Okay, let me just move all that away. Let me just move that whole thing away. Okay. Because well, you know my you know my journal was a bit of a beast, right? It was trying to be cube. But I realized that the that it's too thick and that the the spine was under stress. And that would eventually start popping. And we can't have that. And then I was like, what did I do? What was that about? What was good? Why did I overdo it? I need to come up with a rule like a journal will double by the time you put stuff in it. Or triple, right? Because you put stuff on every page and cardstock and tags. And, you know, that's three or four layers, right? So it fit until I started piling everything in it, right? So, this journal is 320 pages, which is too much. So, I have a cover to use for another time. I took it apart, and I made four. So, we now have four journals, and I did these covers and I put each signature in a journal in its own cover, which is fine. Because this thing was such a beast that I it was just getting ridiculous. So I made four little journals. Change of plans, guys. Because it was it was to the point where it was getting to be a novelty. It's like, how fat can she make a journal? You know, how how fat can we make it? And I didn't want it to be a joke. And uh, what I did was I added three folders to each signature. And uh, there's one. There's one. 
and I did three folders and three or either folders or envelope sets to each journal each signature so here's one and there's one and then I wrapped them all in a cardstock folder and then I, I guess I don't understand the ratio of blank of blank pages this is why I usually don't make journal covers until I'm done because I've I've had gators before Mindy calls them gators you know and um I usually don't make the cover until I'm done so this doesn't happen but in this situation this cover would then okay so we've got these comfortably folded so then this folder would then need to be four and a half inches thick which is you know that's uh, okay let's make a five by five by five journal you know that's ridiculous so I just separated it so now we've got four and and that's okay I love them I, they're adorable they're they're really cute little journals you know I don't know where that went that might have been with the paper clip that I took off so I'll leave it sticking up there was a paper clip that I took off until I so anyway we've got four little journals and this is her gorgeous kit can you believe that and I did the covers kind of something kind of somewhat like I just showed you with the writing board but that's why I needed four writing boards and they're all going to get one and let's see that's the height and they will all be in the back cover and I still have to go through and add a lot to them I've been working on separating them so I haven't done the washi and lace and all the finishing touches yet and then then we've got four writing boards for them all now and I will make a pocket or a belly band or something for these okay and then I'll decorate them somehow you know so there we've got four journals now and I think it was necessary 320 pages for a journal is a lot and it I didn't want it to be a novelty you know it was getting to be like a joke and I you know I didn't want to do that and I didn't want to be ridiculous for this collab you know so I just just separated them okay thanks so much for watching guys love you bye